sebuah mobil meledak di dekat air terjun Niagara pada Rabu 22 November 2023. Ledakan terjadi di persimpangan utama Jembatan Pelangi di dekat air terjun Niagara. Dilaporkan dua penumpang mobil tersebut tewas dalam ledakan di pos pemeriksaan yang terletak 650 km barat laut New York City. Insiden ini menyebabkan pos pemeriksaan di perbatasan Amerika Serikat-Kanada harus ditutup. Hal ini telah dibenarkan oleh Gubernur New York City, Kathy Hochul. Katanya, insiden tersebut tidak mengindikasikan serangan teroris, melainkan sebuah kecelakaan. Meski identitas kedua korban belum dipublikasikan, ia menduga mobil itu berasal dari New York bagian barat. Because the world is watching to find out what happened here. And again, at a time when there's such high anxiety, stress levels are already high. And we've been on heightened alert since October 7th. That's why it's so important for me to stand here and tell the world based on what we know at this moment. And again, anything can change. There is no sign of terrorist activity with respect to this crash. We've identified that this is a local individual, a Western New Yorker. Two individuals died in the, the vehicle. The Border Patrol individual working in the booth was injured. The booth literally protected that individual. They went to the hospital with minor injuries and have been released. Insiden itu menyisakan puing-puing mobil yang tersebar di 14 jalur setelah kejadian tersebut. Di samping itu, terdapat saksi mata yang mengetahui kronologi kejadian ini. Saksi bernama Ricky Wilson itu lalu menceritakan apa yang ia lihat saat insiden itu terjadi. And I closed the door to my car and about 30 feet from me I seen something airborne. I first thought it was an airplane. It looked like slow motion. And I said, "My god, it's a car and it it's a vehicle and it's flying through the air." He hit the concrete barrier probably uh, right at the signal, God knows how many thousands of feet before the bridge. It went airborne. The vehicle began to turn sideways and went under something overhead, and then it hit something over there. And my prayer was just, please don't let it, any of the officers you know, get hit over there. And then all of a sudden, black smoke, no explosion. We all heard, the people in the building heard it, The, uh, metal on metal then all of a sudden I saw black smoke and then fire there was no explosion just the black smoke and then the, then there was so much smoke it was unbelievable after a while probably took five minutes for law enforcement to get here but that's exactly what happened di sisi lain gedung putih juga telah memberitahu presiden Amerika Serikat Joe Biden dan mengikuti perkembangan insiden ini Sementara Perdana Menteri Kanada, Justin Trudeau, mengatakan kepada parlemen bahwa insiden mobil meledak di dekat air terjun Niagara tersebut adalah sesuatu yang serius. Pihak berwenang pun segera menindaklanjuti insiden ini dan taman air terjun Niagara ditutup hingga waktu yang tak ditentukan.